KCTK Radio proudly presents the Lota Show. This right here, rambling, boring conversation containing all ready before. It's not a bad idea. Really? A podcast. Computer can make one. Let's do a podcast. Let's do it. Welcome to KTK Live. The week with Paul. And if you're doing it, yeah, it's been a day. KTK Radio. We stream at KTK Radio. No, here, here it is. KCTK.radio. One, two, three, four. All right. <laughs> then we put this together, and we put it on iTunes or any place else that you want to find your uh, i your podcast. I mean, whatever you want to waste your time to do is just it's fantastic. You just try to give us a shot. That's right. Now, yeah. also, you can check it out on YouTube. Now, yeah. KCTK Radio on YouTube. Uh, we're we're going live tonight with our first camera. That is the Paul Cam. That's the Drew Cam. We'll keep it on Drew. He's kind of the face. He has a face for radio, yeah. and we'll see how that goes. And you know how many people will watch that? Probably none. No, nobody. nobody. Probably yeah. probably. Probably. But I'm Paul, and let's welcome Drew. Welcome, Drew. Hello, I'm Drew Lavota, also known as the Drewsh, a.k.a. the Funny Man, a.k.a. the Awesome. The, the Awesome. Uh, that's a new one, because the last time you said, here, wait, I, I gotta get the cameras going. Say that again, you're... Funny man? I'm the funny man, okay. the droosh, and the awesome. Just the awesome. Last time you said something like you were the man. I was the man, but today I'm the awesome. And my friend, uh, I had a good friend uh, text me, a friend of the show. Oh, yeah? And she was a little surprised that you were called the man. <laughs> now, as always, we take your uh, thoughts on uh, the show as we're talking about things. Uh, we're going to have a lot of... We're going to have a movie review. We're going to have a commercial review. We're going to um, talk about um, um, some of the listener questions this week. And as always, we have news of the Druge. Um, that's, I, I don't know what I thought. I like the news of the weird with Druge. Okay, news of the weird with, with the Druge. With the Druge. The Druge. I love it. And the number... If you contact this, is you probably are, oh, it looks like we already got someone contacting us. But the number is 913-735-0060. Now you're saying, wow, Paul, don't you know that number by heart? <laughs> no, because no one has ever used it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I mean, okay, we have one listener. <clears throat> um, we appreciate the uh, people from North of the River. Thanks for listening. Yeah. I have one listener. I know one listener from North of the River. And um, I know another listener that um, is a very frequent texter of the show. Who's that? Um, his name's Phil. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And um, we also have. Um, I lost my train of thought on this one. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone's already asking how you see the cameras. Well, you see the cameras by uh, checking into YouTube later when you want to watch it later. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we have. Uh, I don't know. I forgot the listener. The North of the River listener and... And then I told you oh, about Phil. Yeah. yeah. Here's what I anticipate. I anticipate lots more listeners because mm -hmm. this is not... There's no whiting on this program. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's humor. Yeah. There's uh, jokes. There's hair. So that's why I appreciate you being here, Drew. And, um, you know, it's... It's it's a it's an honor. Thank you. And a privilege. It's a it's an honor to be here. To be here with you. So let's yes. start off the show like we always do. And we'll call it Ladies and gentlemen, it's now News of the Weird with the Droosh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in dire need to save Nevada. Nevada has run out of thought. <laughs> Oh no, that's terrible, man. I know. So apparently they weren't. They did not realize they were going to run out of pot, having twelve dispensaries in Nevada for the whole state. Wait, 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 wait. Is it legal there? Uh, it's legal there. Yes. 
what in the city limits. Hold the hold the phone. Yeah. So you can go to Vegas, get you drunk, lock and, Vegas. and smoke pot. Why? Not now because they're out of weed. Oh wait, wait. We need to back up here yeah. because if it's not on my bubble of Facebook, then I don't know what's going on That's in the fair. world. Okay. So you're telling me I can go to Las Vegas. I can drink. Yeah. I can gamble. I can watch the Raiders. Yeah. And now I can smoke pot? Correct. When, when did they legalize this? Uh, it's not too long ago. It's mostly recreational. Um, what well, do how much do you do it? Well, I mean, the, you, still, you have to have a license or whatever. So, so but the deal the problem is right now trying to get a, a, a uh, pass to import. Mm, import exporting. Yeah. yeah. So... The one they just wrote there is it too hot or something? I don't or know. What? Apparently, they just didn't have that many dispensaries. So I think I'm taking it. And probably try and soup out some from Colorado, California, bring them in and start helping grow out some stuff, and probably use other dispensaries that are around the different uh, California, and Colorado, I would think have tons and other of states. Want to do that. Yeah, there's nothing easier than ditch weed grow in the backyard. I mean, obviously, because the Mexicans, all they do is just bury it, piss on it, and that's it. Wow. So that's really good stuff right wow. there. Wow. Yeah, that's how it rolls. Say what? <laughs> is that, was that a racist thing you did? Or no, did? that was a, that's a known fact. Oh. It's called Mexican ditch. Mexican ditch. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> so, so did they plan to fix this? Uh, well, right now they're just trying to get uh, more people to be involved, and they're also trying to get lights and everything to import it. That's literally what's been going on right now. That's what's been going on the latest this week. Wow, it's kind of crazy that they didn't prepare for this. Vegas, yeah, I, they're gonna figure it out. No, I, they're gonna have to figure it out. Just now, the Raiders are moving there, and you and I, I both agree that the Raiders suck. Correct. Suck. Correct. And I dislike them. I hate them. Yeah, I don't like anything but about the Raiders. Would you go to a Raider game? Absolutely not. You wouldn't it? You know why? Because I would be dissed by my hometown Chiefs if I step foot in a Raiders team unless they're playing them. Okay, what if they were playing them? Well, then I would go. Okay. Can we go? Yeah, I'd have to make sure I have a shiv with me just to make sure I don't get stabbed. Well, they, they said that you would never want to wear your Chiefs clothes. Well, that's weird because I'm slowly going to represent. I don't care. Yeah, but in Oakland, they say. Yeah, that'll you get. You, I think the quote was, "You get your white boy pounded down." Probably, and so yeah. I wonder if it'd be different in Vegas. I mean, because we'll they don't have your local. No, they're not Oakland. They're not. They're not. They're not repping Oakland or any of that shit. They're repping uh, Las Vegas, the home of the Sin City. I mean, come on yeah. now, like don't give me that. The Las Vegas Raiders. It's strange. I know, that's so weird. And then you got the San Diego Rams. I know it's our Los Angeles Rams. Yeah. Sorry. What's well, another San Diego's moving to the Los Angeles? Yeah, it's like, Chargers, it's but, like yeah. why do they need two teams? Well, they're they're the second biggest media market in the country, and they have no teams. Mm -hmm. And as you know they all run the street. I also say a that that the Chiefs, Kansas State. That's it. Right, but why? Why? Because everyone's said, like, "Oh, Kansas is all pumped." This time, they, all, they said that in the Royals. It said that during the World Series and stuff, it was ridiculous. Like, come on now. I apologize, but I didn't know what you were doing. No, I was just suggesting some things myself for nothing like that. But okay, so here I have a kind of a little bit of bit of belief on this. There's Somebody, some more. Hi, welcome. Hello, um, my name is Madeline Boba, and I got to make comments and just listen. I was walking down the street and heard the show going on, and right. I thought I could make moments. That's how you like to roll for it. Yeah. You let just anybody walk in. Okay, sorry. A lot of people 
people there didn't understand where I was from. Mm. I say Missouri, they'd call me a Southern Belle. I'd say Kansas City, they say Kansas, and I don't blame them. They're just stupid other people in the world. That's that's kind of my take on this. Yeah. They don't know where we are. Why would they know? Why would they know? Why where would they know? Yeah. I'm saying if you're going to insult somebody, educate yourself. But they're not insulting. They're just saying, hey, Kansas is great. They don't know where they are. They don't know where they are. If you went to New Jersey and you're like, hey, New York, I love Newark. And they're like, you're not in New York. You're in, I don't know. See, I don't know. That's the point. <laughs> I'm not from there. So why would I have to know? I don't know. It's really to this. It's awesome to me. Like, I get it, but I see you Yeah, I think you don't know. Just remember, <laughs> you don't know places. Why should you? Um, you know, we brought you in the new the pot, which is good. So we promised to keep up the president and the president. Absolutely. The president's, president's Joker. President's tweets. So that's the President of the United States. Okay, well, you just threw me through a bone. Just an, update, just an update from the President of the United States. You have Andy Circus on there and, and instead of <laughs> Mark Hamill. That totally threw me. I just said Joker, and then here comes Gollum for Lord of the Rings. That's the President of the United States, and he's got his image via Twitter, and uh, we just happen to have the audio version of it. And I thought we talked about this last week. We're just going to say it was the <laughs> But instead, you're it's the Joker. I'm, all right, I'm just giving out props. But I'm a fan. What do you want from it's me? It's the Joker. And now it's... I can't... Uh, what's going right. on here with this other... All right. Now i got another one to play you. Let's do it. For, and it's just a slight, constant, negative press. Okay. okay, so... Did you hear that? Yep. Some of us, some of us <laughs> the buffet. That was what the president <laughs> made a pork. And then all the people that the prediction on the real dictionary. The real dictionary. The real dictionary. So, now we have a game that we do to play. Um, you guys know about that? I think I've heard of this game. Well, luck. So here's how this game is. The expression on the gauntlet, I may run the gambit. The gambit is the first move in chess, and it's a dangerous move. You have to sacrifice something to get something of even value. Um, east side to summer, and uh, yeah, oh, yeah, Aaron Andrews said Blue Springs, Kansas during World Series, and Aaron Andrews, Andrews is pretty hot, so she could say that. <laughs> so, that that was our game. I say summer, uh, I say summer, I'd rather have summer than winter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's introduce you first. Okay. Hi, this is me, the Roosh. <laughs> I, I don't know 
Hill? Wait, you... Okay, go ahead. Who is the boobs? Christine Hendrix or Chris Christie? I would pick. That she actually is an attractive woman. Man, that's so long. So Chris Christie, man. He mean. But um, I had a um, friend called one time to tell me that he thought that my father was like Chris Christie. And I was very offended and not offended anymore. Well, I'm a fat man guy. I know, but that doesn't mean you look like it. I'm not even as fat as him. I can do that. I know. You know what I mean? I need to get to be, go- be governor. I mean, you Run the campaign. So. <laughs> uh, none of us do. Here's one for you. All right. All right. You have to. Pick one. You can use the technology of one of these companies. Okay. Apple or Microsoft? Apple. I'm an artist. Is soft, mm-hmm. but I need for school. I would have to choose uh, Microsoft. Here's the of this game. Talk about more. I don't think you can one day with that use one of the technology. And I think you'd be in uh, the digital shit creek. <laughs> That's why these are tough. Okay, here we go. No, that's it. Maybe you have one? I am prepared. Okay, I'm just about this one. And you're going to take it lightly. Jeez. What a royal. You can't think of the other one. This is a simple one for me. I don't really like and or understand football. So... I'm going to have to go with Royals. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that is terrific. Just Thank you. Terrific. Thank you. True. Uh, this is actually really tough. Yeah. You can't be a fan of the other one. That's really sad. Um, I doubt for suicide. <laughs> no. You, you have to. Do I need to play a song game? No. Run it. Nope. I'll run the game. Uh, Royals. I like baseball. Really? Wow. See, I would have bet for sure you would have said the Chiefs. No. I don't know as much about football as I do about baseball, and friends do not let me forget. So, Wow. Yeah. Now, well, my wife, actually. Your wife would say the Chiefs. She also would Apple. Uh-huh. I think the Chiefs. Because I understand football more than I do baseball. Yeah. Plus, baseball takes like a whole year. It Honestly, bores me. It's more of a connection with me just because me and my dad watch it a uh-huh. lot. So or uh-huh. hang out and he's usually listening to it. So maybe there's just some connection there. Mandy, what sport did you play with him? None actually. What? I, he was never This might be fun. We have a list of phone of things that do not bother me. Do we do that? We could. Okay. <laughs>
never took him to a tailgate of football. Although, you took me to one. I did take you to one. I've never, I never touched one of their four teams. No. I did a lot of those two. I wouldn't think about it. I was around. I never touched uh, the outside. Fish. <laughs> I never, I never yeah. even flew up. One more, though. And you fixed their hair. So if their mom was gone, they were a little, I just had to That's a Yeah. So, I mean, this is only an hour long program. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that comes to your mind that you're fighting to do for you? Oh, man. Let's think about it. Uh, no, my dad's done a lot, actually. <laughs> Every you just list it off, my dad's done. Well, except, no, coach, should, except coach, these are listing the things he was that involved I, in Boy Scouts. These so. are the things that I did bad for, not for what your dad did. You, yeah. I mean, my yeah. Manlin, um, here I'll put the camera on me. On, on the, on, oh, okay. two, three. I formally. Um, if we make it official, <laughs> all those that did not do at the Here's another thing that was bad. Oh, wow. We we go, speaking we of this more. song, <laughs> uh, when me and my little, like, I was maybe like three, and she's what, six? Your little, so we could. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So we would be in that tub together still because we were still tiny little girls, and our father was giving us a bath. When we would get out, he would sing this song. Yeah. The words though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Girl dance. Girl dance. Yeah. That was an original song. I thought it was like, like perfect. Just hey, for me. It from, from and and I had no idea. Him. I guess he didn't say it was an original, but I just knew my dad. So you were taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> and your dad didn't take care of you, but he didn't do it with the material. I know. What the heck? Did you ever, did you ever call me Hack Dad? I should have. When you used to come to call me Hack I feel like I maybe give you guys like a moment. Um, to keep your eyes down making it fun. other things I did on my children and uh, we'll do that we'll be there and it'll be awesome hey everyone this is time to talk about the mamas Drew, you love video games, don't you? Absolutely, I enjoy them a lot. Well, you need to come down to Big Mama's, where they have all the great video games you can think of. Pac-Man. Uh, this is Tron? Tron. Oh my god. Tron. My favorite dog. I love it there. And they also have some pool tables so you can play. Really? But Big Mamas, two one and one high away. You know, right for the X Friday mark, and for the red or special, where you get four quarters on all. Tell them. Thank you. 
out of its grand natural with a number of bigger or two inches to one. It is sad for the man. It probably has. Stop that. Say food. Don't I want to make sure that everyone heard the balance? You know what you should do? Well, get yourself some straight from Big Mom. Red quarter. Yes. Who, who do you use? I asked for uh, Grandma Paula. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, um, we started with a thing. I think Mom's a pigeon in you. Every single week, to listen to our reviews, different commercials, and uh, you know, the chill, we talk about chilies. Mm-hmm. What did you do before that? Oh, nationwide. Yep, nationwide. You want it on your side. And I, how much I hate it, but there's also good commercials. Yeah, and uh, I have one that uh, I was recommended by a list review. Have you heard of Jose Altuve? He's a baseball player. Plus for the uh, uh, Astros. Oh, okay. And yeah. He's done an ad for uh, Five Hour Energy. Do you ever have you ever had that before? Does it work? Or? I mean, yeah, I was up. I was up and ready. <laughs> yeah, I had about two shots, and I was like, "No, wait a minute." When you were tired, did you use it? As- yeah, well, I use it in the morning. I used to work at uh, Blue Springs Ford. And then you would just do yourself instead of like instead of coffee or something like that. Well, yeah, because their coffee you had to pay for it. Oh, you pay for yeah, coffee. You had, co- there? you had a coffee machine. And you had to What's the for point it? of going to work if you're going to pay for coffee? I don't know. I mean, in my work now, it's free. Yeah. So, Jose Altuve. I don't even know if I'm saying his name. Right. We'll hear it on the commercial here. Um, he made a commercial about five hour energy, and I I like to review. I think it's a good commercial. Here. We go. Altuve. Okay, so what we're seeing is, hope you know we're gonna start to make sure everyone can hear. We're seeing uh, Jose. He's the people are looking in the stand. It's generic energy drink. Yes. Yeah. And then they're fielding. He's all three. He's, he's everywhere. Outfielder. is like a great player with a major energy upgrade. I could use a major energy upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Master does it. laughs> he's drinking this terrible energy drink. It's just called energy. Right. And the then hand. here comes Jose. 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 <laughs> and uh, he gives them the fire energy. And that fire energy is only like a, like a couple shots. I mean, it's not even like a real drink. It's one shot. It's one shot? Yeah. Okay, it's the one shot. Thing. Also, if you notice, too, what he's wearing. He's wearing an orange baseball jersey and a black hat. Now, orange and black happen to be the colors of the Houston Astros, but it doesn't say Houston Astros on it because he probably would have had to pay more. Yeah. Okay, so the guy, the girl, the girl, I mean, she is into baseball. Get his baseball teared on. 
and backwards. The hat, but the hat's backwards, so you know. She's, she's got a side braid. braid. Yeah, she's looking, side braid. looking cute. Yeah, looking all cute. And she obviously knew his name before he did. <laughs> right, and she and this poor this poor guy, he's drinking the energy drink. He has no energy. Let's see what happens. Thing upgrade. So he sees the energy and he's upgrade. So here comes Jose. All of a sudden, he's in the stands with. Just the right size, like man. I guess he's a little guy. <laughs> I guess. So that was like the little guy, the little guy joke of the commercial, and I hope everybody got that. <laughs> the little guy. All right. But if you're Then they show him doing all different things. He has so much energy doing it all. And he says, Remember what he says, sister? I'm, How do you do I'm that? that good. He says, I'm that good. Drift 5 Hour Energy, official partner of the All Star Game. Oh, and now he's selling hot dogs. Drink 5 Hour Energy, official partner of the All Star Game. <laughs> handsome young I'm assuming Puerto Rican Dominican be Dominican. Okay? Okay, yeah. Look at that smile. And he's pretty good. So then okay. come to the tag. You should watch what happens. Part of the He's on hot dogs. He's on hot dogs. Okay, are you ready for the best part of the commercial? I want you to talk to the listener after you say Not only is he soft, but he's not soft, but he's not soft, but he's not soft, but he's not soft. Oh man, I gotta show you because you're missing the subtle of it all. Ready? Uh huh. Hey, Tuck Mark, smile. <laughs> He hands her a hot dog in front of the cuck. Who has no energy. Alright? Guess what? I'll take an energy. And he hands her a big dog. <laughs> and and the, boyfriend, dog is, and the boyfriend gets upset. And the girl gets my on her face. It's like, yeah, that's what I want. Oh. Jose de <laughs> Now, that's a great commercial. <laughs> I, since I've been commercial, I've been chugging these things and I'm not stuck. Is that what you're taking <laughs> around? <laughs> because I figured you're be like this guy, hang a hot dog everybody, and just put up and say, hey, hey you're my hot dog. And I can get that. You, 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 you are the man. <laughs> well, um, I don't recommend it much because it hasn't worked out as well for me. Yeah. No, but there's a little subtlety there, which... <laughs> I guess maybe if you're a weirdo like me, you notice it. But there he is, slipping under the hot dog. Some all, uh, some, uh, yeah. <laughs> some hot so dog. So I, I give that one hot dog, one hot dog up. <laughs> um, it's far harder to Is that the reason it's for the far harder good commercial? Nice. So if you have any suggestions on any commercials that we need, you have you have one that you want to do at one point. Right? That next week, because there's always more time to do it. Absolutely, absolutely. But but now, as always, it is time for news of the weird with the Drush. All you nudists out there, nude recreation is back, and it's on the theme this year: the naked street party. Now I'm taking fire energy and go to this. Yeah, absolutely. Phoenix Arizona. Get the word out. Is is thing. Okay. If you feel the need to take your clothes off and you're in practice your own home, that's why go outside. Because we have another three part. In, in, in Phoenix, Phoenix Arizona, Arizona, Phoenix Arizona, and they're trying to create awareness. Apparently, they have their own organization called Near Society. 
with the nude recreation. Now, where in town it is. I wonder if it's like in town in a bar or no. But people out there, if you feel the need to go get naked, go to Phoenix. Well, have you been watching the uh, the weather at all in Phoenix? It's been really hot. Apparently, this is the reason why they uh, they have a lot of new things up to 120 degrees. It's so hot that the planes at the uh, the airport. I can't remember what the name of the airport. Overheated. Right now. They can fly because it's just too hot. Yeah. Well, not even though the the air is too thin because of that. And, yeah, and then you fly. So, you know, it sounds well good that you are naked and you're having a good time. This is my problem. Okay. I'm naked. Okay. But 20 degrees outside. Right. Which, that summer's going to suck. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be really bad if you're not in places you didn't want it. Yeah. And that's where you get scared. Yes. Yes. You know, that's... Okay. <laughs> because I'm in this. <laughs> Oh, because I'm a nudist. You're a nudist. You no. like to be nude all the time. No, I do not. I do Mexico, not. Mexico, man. You let it fly. No, 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 no. Yeah, I... Mexico. Oh, wow. See, nude is great. When you see the video, it's a bunch of old people. Right. So it's not anything right. like old. You're out of shape. Because if you're in shape... Oh, there was a woman they were interviewing that was completely out of shape. And, yeah. And she's letting it fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah she I mean, was. What would it for you to do, I mean, oh, I don't know, it'd have to be a lot of money. How much could it be? About a grand. <laughs> yeah, I think a hundred grand. A hundred grand sounds fair. I gotta about, walk around. I burn easily, so that sucks. Yeah, hundred sounds sounds about. I think where I would where I would be at too. You know, I mean, here to be substantial. Yeah, you know, I go well, that. Nudist. Yeah. Now I know a guy. I work with a guy who was a nudist. He and his wife would go to these retreats and one in their area camp. Mm -hmm. we down and he would tell her about it. We just thought it was the weirdest thing ever. But he was very proud of it. I was wondering, do news parties lead to swinger parties? I I don't know about those at all, but we would, right? I think it would too. I mean, it's already. Weird thing going on. I mean, that's kind of how I saw it. I mean, it just, but it just, I just, I don't know that. I'm not a young man. It just happens to be a young man. Boy, it was all worried about that. Now, I found it interesting to discussion about how I'm working and, uh, Maybe change the men and women interact with each other nowadays. Yeah. You you think now everything's so risky in the past too. And our but we were saying no. We were saying it all. And now Yeah. So I'm going to play uh the Absolutely, Barney. I mean, Barney's a gun. Yeah. So this is the scene where Barney bringing his girlfriend, Thelma Lou, is bringing over a Maybe he picks up, and um, it's shocking. <laughs> Dropping it. He, he, Bridge. That's what they used to do. Okay. Did you know that? He's up to something. This may be a little talk, but what do you think of it? It's just them. As long as we're here, why are we all standing? They're all bringing around, bringing around the pretty girl.
upset. Like, I don't want to fuck with me. You know, a girl looks weird. I mean, it looks like a... Yes. Yes. The dud. She is. She's all dud. It's works at the library. <laughs> Hilarious on no, hilarious. Let's do this. See this, this, this. Ever watch old program and think you think that thing about that. That's sad. <laughs> I don't want to watch Twilight Zone. Yeah. And they're good. I'd even make it make Twilight Zone even more eerie. Because <laughs> wow. a lot of people are dead. I think it'll be in heaven, you know, meet them, and they'll go, You thought that was hot when I was in the Twilight Zone. I don't, I don't like going to heaven. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> Look at her. She's just a dumb man. You'll find out soon enough why. She doesn't talk. Lydia. 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 I mean, I'm known for an old show to be talking. It's like they're all sworn. I tried to I the herpes. I was in the crowd. And I got. Are you a I'm trying to do Andy Taylor. I'm trying to do Andy Taylor. It's Andy Griffith. Griffith. Well, no, wait. I didn't grow up in the era you did. We are mixed generations. Around. Okay. But you're okay with that. I mean, I, 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 I've seen people be just on television. I'll just sit on. <laughs> I don't need to <laughs> I'm daring. We'll take one more. You, you have a good time. I go out to my gym. It's a little bit country. 
and it's and so you go above is a huge there you get anything in the front the whole point of Friday and Saturday night just how long you can ride then you can decide for the line day they do it all do it all for you other country bars won't do the electric slide. It's the only country, but the electric course is Hello? Okay. <laughs> but luckily, if you want the electric course, you won't go up on the train. So, highway. Down from the um, uh, 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 yeah, sitting next to the Let me remember the time that I had it. It was wonderful. 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 Does a podcast called uh, Special Guest Rampus? Uh, Twitter. I commented on her Twitter. ATK Radio Twitter. Commented on her. What she said. I- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's that was, right. Uh, nice tweet. ATK Radio. What well, yesterday we were. Oh, but like, I don't, I 
Lots of fans. Oh, I don't, I don't talk to any. I'm coming over. He didn't want it, it, it turned out he actually didn't listen to the show. Uh, oh, so she was just pulling your chain in a or way. Or the dude was pulling her chain. What? Does that impress women if for some reason you listen to their cousin's podcast? And dad's? <laughs> I mean, dad. Well, you're, you're not the dad. I don't like that at all. That's, that's an interesting thing for her to... Um, it was just really nice, and I thought I'd be fun. But, and I don't talk to fans. Oh, man. Don't come to me for the show. Do not come to me, fans. Whoever is listening to this, do not come to me for the show. I feel sorry for these people. Because they're being an asshole. Oh. Yeah, yeah. One of those guys. Wow. <laughs> I did the same thing last week, but we're trying to do a movie review, right? Yeah. And I have a big movie review. Big movie that happened, you were able to see it, and um, you're going to give it a review. But only try music that I mainly found for movie reviews. Because as you can tell, a lot of this podcast has nothing to do with what we're talking about. It has to do with Paul playing around and trying to find funny things to listen to. I am aware that one. Okay. I knew that going into this. Let's go up the city. <laughs> oh, I knew. Did you know that? Oh, intuition. Yeah, intuition. Huh? Why don't you give us time for Booties with the Droosh? Hey! And today you're. What are you doing? Okay, so I went to Spider Man. Nice. Yeah. Spider Man. Mixed solutions. I, uh, I very much liked it. Uh, I thought it was the, probably the real Spider-Man movie I've seen. What about that? What I mean by that is the kid's 15. That's a 15 year old superhero. Spider Man is 15. He's right? 15. Okay. So it's starting out, not great, emulizing Iron Man and trying to teach him how to be a superhero, but he feels like he wants to. Because, you know, it's Tony Stark. Right. He's all over the place. And um, at one point, you see Spider-Man go through a panic attack when he gets like, messed up by villain. Ooh. And you kind of see him cry a little bit. Like, uh-huh. he realizes he has to help himself. Wow. And I felt like that's what kids do. You feel about, like, a teen year old getting a suit. It feels like that's something that would go to their yeah. mind whenever they're in the dark. Like, was it? I'm sure. Well, I mean, not, not necessarily a life or death situation. We've all been through their situation. Where like, oh, I'm, I'm the adult. I have to take it. Yeah. It, 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 it shows, like, you know, he has to learn. How, and he's not like a Spider Man. I like that because it shows him screwing so much. Like, because what's the hero with perfect right off the bat? That I saw Batman fall from a crane. I right. mean, he used to get back and fall through like a highway trying to jump all over. How roof. about how about the man swimming with the planet? Exactly. So he's not right. a superhero. So goes, I just the realism with it. The fact that if I was Spider Man and I'm 15, yeah. I'd be going through some kind of emotions, I feel like. And I thought they were really after that. So Michael Keaton is great. I mean, he played Spider Man. And he's actually playing the vulture. He's the vulture. He's the vulture. Now, the vulture is always an old for he's my for a way to be young. Oh, okay. He's tired I'm tired of eating and that gives him his powers. And he, and he hates Green Goblin. Yeah, he hates the Green Goblin. There's a few that hate the Green Goblin. Yeah. But he's one of those Octopus. Um, Green Goblin? I don't know Green Goblin. He's 
always solo. It's like Joker. You know, okay. He's kind of solo. Um, I think the Venom part of it, I don't remember that. Um, in Kyder Man. Oh, Electra. Like, like, yeah, that's Well, yeah. all of them take Spider-Man, especially a Doc Ock. Because he's a smart old. Yeah, he's a kid. Now, did capture capture that now in um, Captain America's Civil War? He was smart old for me. Yeah, I was smart Spider Man. Oh, was no, he, he was. He that I really like Tom Holland. Regardless of a lot of people, I've had some fans out there that are not a fan of him. But I personally like it. Uh, I think he's good. And we'll say that in the next movie, he needs to book up on Russell. Why? Because Spider-Man is, like, a rich Is too. he? Yeah. He's, he goes through a change. I mean, Tobey Maguire's first Spider-Man is Joe. Yeah, but I, it, to me, the characters are getting a little old. I mean, yeah, he's he's tough. Technically, yeah. technically uh, when Stan Lee created him, he's modeled after a woman. He's got the power Correct. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. I mean, so, so how does he, tell me this. And uh, I guess spoiler to everyone. What about the Marvel Universe people in there? Um, no, you got, no, Iron Man. You got, Man. Yeah. Tinker, you got Vulcan, How many uh, heroes? Heroes? Is he right, Captain? No, it's a PSA. Okay. Uh, like, so they show, like, stuff like that. Like, at one point, uh, Peter Parker goes to attention, right? Uh, Hamburgers is his gym teacher. Oh, fuck me. And he's also telling them, uh, look at the sex head to it's cool. Uh, you all just talk amongst yourself. Animal bird. He's got it pretty much. Cosby being a legend. I have to say allegedly because he's not fucking allegedly. Right. Right. So. And he's he's uh kind of an edgy comedian. Yeah. He's, uh, he's an so wow. Kind of all. So kind of in the hero. Uh, the uh, MJ. Is that kind of, oh. It was Sam Man. No. Oh. Now, oh yeah, oh, well I guess they shot one clip from Civil War. Yeah, they're in there. Yeah. Now is he so at the next um from what I was World, reading he's in Infinity War. He'll be in the next so he'll be an Avenger the next time Infinity War. Like because everybody's gonna be in Doctor Strange, Black Panther, you got uh Carol played by Uh, did you say Black Panther? Yeah, Black Panther will be in that. Uh, all of them, and Spider Man in as well. Yeah, Guardians. That's right. Guardians. Oh, please. I don't know how they will be. Every single movie involved in Infinity Stone. I don't need to be the star. And all that stuff. So, Spider Man is going to have a party with all these guys because Vision has one stone. And then you got the Collector has, like, I think, two. And the Collector is the guy in the. He works with Thanos. But he's the bad guy in the, or at least in the Guardian movies. Yeah, and he's been in the. Floor. Are you man? Cause I know this stuff? No, I'm teaching right. you. That's my that's my teaching. Thank you. Yeah. Now, I keep up. Part of me thinking it's so stupid that you know all that. If you told me anything about Superman, I would know it. At the back of my hands. So, right. Now, did you see this? Um, Deadpool love. I wanted to make it, made it clear on an Instagram post following the news that superhero flick starring Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot surpassed both American box office throws of the pool. As far as me, that's awesome. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I completely agree because uh, Gal Gadot was perfect. I love the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's better Spider Spider Man Homecoming or Wonder Woman. Ooh. Spider Man Homecoming better. 